My name is Diane Huo. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Marshall Ranch, and I have just started trying the blended learning. So the room is set up in rotation stations. So I have a small group setting. I have independent workstation, the technology station where the students are working on iReady, and the creation station where the students are applying uh, a concept. I have set up a clear poster, station rotation, one, two, three, and four, so which each of the groups are. Our daily routine for us is going to work. 10 minute whole group introduction of what the day will be two 30-minute rotations, and a 10-minute whole group closure, revisiting things, answering questions, recording in our agenda. So it'll take us two days to go through all of the stations. We have the supply poster. We're having all of the students walk around with a soft pouch that has basic supplies, a couple of pencils, scissors, glue stick, yellow highlighter, plus their folders and agenda. And then we, we're speaking regularly about the expectations to make this work. Behavior expectations, work assignment completion expectations, and participating and being helpful to our classes. Okay, so we're going to start the 30-minute timer. Teaching assistance. There's a few other dreamer coming in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a poker, a player, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire. I like this being different because um, we have more opportunity to learn more things. Scissor? Angel. Angel. Blue stick? And let's get to know. You put that. I will get that for you right now. So you need a scissor? You need a stick? I didn't get to do anything. Okay. Your supplies away. You don't even no. Okay. Okay. I got one. Okay. Ben, are you, are you finish? Yes. After you finish, yes. Okay. I apparently didn't finish yet. Come on. You don't just put it in your pocket. The timer is going to start. Please stop rotating around. That's how you're participating in a helpful way. You're taking any of your materials with you. You're taking that scholastic views. You're taking your idiom poster paper, but not the examples. I'm Beth Martin. I'm a Desert Palms and fourth grade teacher. I thought that to have a class like this, it has to be purposeful, it has to have meaning, it has to hit my standards, and it has to support every one of my students' learning. So if there's somebody who's needing help or a group that needs help, then they have to be in the right group. And anyone who is beyond that needs to be in the right group. There's one second. We have five stations here. Each station lasts 30 minutes. In this station, we, um, we do comprehension papers that, that make sure 
that we know our, how to comprehend what we're doing. And I've been in this group. Um, technology, we do reading, like imagine learning or study island for the reading subject, subjects. Um, for this one, we have to know our vocabulary of words. Um, and we have to write them down on a piece of paper and do them in sentences. In writing, we have to um, know how to write five paragraph essays or five paragraph essays or compound, complex, or sim and simple sentences. In ICU, the teacher works with students and makes sure they know what they're supposed to know in reading. And uh, that's just all the groups and how it works. And every day, we can switch our groups down here. I thought it was actually, actually real. And Eddie found this in Chris Martin said it was actually on the news yesterday. And they wanted to see if that was actually real and it was real. And this also going to interrupt yesterday. One section of Imagine Learning is to develop fluency. But when one of my students is working on recording her voice, since the others are collaborating and making noise, it muffles the sound and it's hard for her to hear. So with that problem, we tried to solve it by putting her in one corner of the room when it was her turn to do the speaking. And then that prevented the problem. What's the definition of tsunami? The term tsunami means a product as a result from a destructive sea wave caused by an earthquake or volcanic eruption. We are doing, we're in vocabulary and we have to write down the meaning, write down the word, and we'll have to write, like draw a picture what we're doing, and right now we're doing control. So I drew a Xbox controller, and now we're doing the definition. It says, the power to influence or direct people's behavior or the course of events. And that's what we're doing.